Hey gents, today I'm here with Lewis. He is a tailor, he runs Aspiring Gent. You can check him out on Instagram, I'll link to him below, but I'm also going to link to several videos that we're working on today where we're going to be repairing some chinos, trousers, and jeans. We're gonna do them by hand. We're also gonna be doing them with a machine. We're even gonna show you how to taper up shirts, which is the main thing that I always tried to do but couldn't really accomplish, and so I asked Lewis to come down so that he can show me how to really do it. So this one I'm very excited about. We're looking at tapering your dress shirt. So I have a nice slim fitting shirt here. This one is custom, but if you have shirts in your closet that either you don't want to take to the tailor or you just want to try on your own. I started a few years ago by doing my own uh, very rough stitch here with one of my shirts. And this was my first experimentation with machine stitching. But Lewis today is going to show us how to put darts on the back of the shirt, which is a much easier way to do this than trying to do the side seam. So I have a shirt here from the tie bar that's just a little bit billowy. And so we're gonna flip over, show the before, show the machine, and Lewis is gonna show us how to dart this bad boy so we get a nice slim fit. Exactly, it won't be that hard and it'll keep it really professional looking on the side seam so you're not worrying about any finish work or anything like that. So what you're gonna wanna do is take safety pins to kind of mark it on the sides how much you want it to take in. You can use normal pins but you'll end up poking yourself taking the shirt off. And after you put those pins in where you want them, you're gonna take the tape measure or ruler, figure out how much is gonna come in you're gonna take that measurement and transfer it onto the dart, which we're gonna show you right now. Okay, so once you have the shirt laying down on your workspace, again, just double check your measurements. Here we're gonna end up taking in a little bit more just to make it a little bit snugger. It's gonna be about an inch on both sides. And with this pattern shirt, it makes it a lot easier because you already have preset straight lines down the shirt that you can follow. It's kind of the beginner level, you could say. So what I like to do is measure up from the top of the shoulder where that seam is for the armhole and the shoulder and you're gonna go in about three and a half inches. Now this varies depending on how large you are. You just wanna keep it even off both sides so make sure this measurement matches over there. Now I'm gonna take a pin or a safety pin in this case and mark right there at three and a half. Now what I'll do is I'll follow this line down all the way down the shirt to there. Throw in another pin. Turn it inside out just like this. Then the next step will be pressing along this both points like that to make a nice straight seam where we're gonna sew our dart. So once you have your shirt inside out, you're gonna take where the pin marks are, pinch them just like this, pull them tight, and you're gonna lay them on your pressing surface, which here for us is going to be a scarf. Towel will work fine, or if you have an ironing board, even better. Make sure that this pattern is straight, just like this, because how you sew, how you press this is going to determine how straight your dart looks. So this part is very important to get right. So take some time, make sure you're going over it. And you're just gonna press along that line. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is figure out how long you want your dart to be. Take a cloth tape, just measure the whole length, this is going to come to 28. And a good general rule is come down 2 or 3 inches from the top, depending on how large your dart is going to be. We're doing um, 2 inches total on each side, so we're going to come down 3 inches, make a mark. So it's not a crazy amount to take in, so we want to leave enough space from there to there. And then here, if you're taking in more than two inches on each side, I would say just take it all the way down the shirt. But because this one can be worn untucked or tucked, we want to keep that nice little scallop in the back. So we're going to stop around 22 inches, which leaves us with about three and a quarter off the edge of the shirt. So then we'll take this 22 inch mark, split it in half, which will be around 11. And that's going to be the center of the dart, which will also be the biggest point. So we're going to take our inch and we're going to mark it right from there. As long as 
see that well. And then from here, take your ruler, and you're just gonna taper it off just like this, both ends. Make sure the mark isn't too hard because sometimes on these lighter fabric shirts, the chalk will actually stay in there. So make sure that you're not doing it too hard to wear. It'll affect the clothing. But then all you're gonna do is follow that seam with the machine, press it open and you'll be done. So we'll show you that now. So with your whole machine already set up to the specifications of a straight stitch, refer to your manual if you need help or our previous videos. So you're putting the project underneath at the fold in which we just ironed a little bit ago. You're gonna take the presser foot, lower it down from that lever, and you're gonna make sure that you're easing the needle in right at the tip of where we put our mark going out, just like that. So you're gonna go a few steps with the foot forward, back stitch, lock it in place, and just follow your seam all the way down. And when you come to the end, you're also going to come right off the edge. If you did when you started, back tack and go forward. Raise the needle up, pull out the project, snip it. Now, also a tip while you're going through all this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of the fabric is left out from underneath it so you're not accidentally tacking something down that you're not supposed to. So just keep an eye, take it slow, and watch what you're doing. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll press it open. Alrighty, so with your shirt all done and inside out still, you're gonna lay it back down to where you're going to press it. Now, what you can do is, there's three different things. You can either press this guy down flat like this or to either side. I like to push it all to one side. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker. Um, and which side you push it towards is all just personal preference. I do it to the middle just to form the habit of doing it, to kind of streamline it when I do it at work. But again, does not matter. Just make sure that it's pressed so that the finished product looks as, looks as professional as possible. So you have it gents, hope that gives you a little more confidence to do some DIY tailoring at home, whether you're hemming some pants, tailoring a shirt. Uh, thank you to Lewis for coming out and working on this series with me. I've, I've wanted to do something like this, but I've never uh, had the expertise in order to say like, this is actually how you do it. I just kind of fart around at it. And yeah, grab some practice stuff, go home, get a machine or do some of the hand stitching and just go to town practicing, honing it before you actually go on your real stuff. But guys, it's super easy and anyone can do it. Yep, so check out Lewis's channel. I'll link to that below. He's working on some really cool stuff and uh, I'll see you around on the internet. Right. Yeah, it's a pleasure. All right, till next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Mm -hmm.